ever cross him, I blow him up like a Marcy. At this age to handle rage without profanity, had to move the family to gain a little sanity. Alright y'all, so what is going on? This is Kel, coming to you another video. If you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button to join the Cash family, because we are going to the top, y'all. We are like, we have been growing so fast, y'all. We are about to hit 16K pretty soon, and I just hit 15K, so thank you guys for all the love and support. If you are new and you're interested in this channel, I do fashion, sneakers, vlogs, basketball, I do everything. So if you're interested in any of that type of stuff, hit that subscribe subscribe button join the family because you do not want to miss out on any of this stuff y'all so with that being said let's get right into the video real quick before we get into the video i have to make one quick announcement i am having a giveaway click the first link down in the description to enter the giveaway or watch the giveaway video so you know the rules to enter because the giveaway is ending next week so make sure you click fast and hurry up and enter the giveaway the rules will be in the giveaway video so again 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 click the first link down in the description i am going to be giving away any shoe of your choice for 200 dollars or less and then i have the second one will get an iPhone 5s and three pairs of clock goggles so this is a giveaway you do not want to miss so again 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 click that first link down in the description and go run it up and then I have one more announcement to make thank you guys for all the love and support like I said uh, with all the subscribing the liking the videos give this video a like by the way but with all the liking the videos and everything also thank you guys for all the social media support such as like adding me on snapchat and follow me on Instagram and I have to make one quick thing I have to say one quick thing if you DM me and I do not respond do not feel hurt or anything I get a lot of DMs, but if you pretty much if you comment on my picture, I can reply to you faster because I don't get that many comments. I get maybe a hundred or so comments, so I will definitely see your comment. But if you do DM me, just keep DM me over and over, and I'll probably see your comment because you'll be the, uh, at the top of the list. So DM me as many times as you want. That'll be that'll probably be the easiest way for me to respond to you. But if you DM me once and I don't follow you because I can't follow everybody back, because you do have to realize if I follow everybody back, I won't be able to see the people that I want to see on Instagram. So that's why I do. I that's why I really don't follow that many people back. But uh yeah, man. If you DM me and you say like some kind words or something, I probably will follow you back. You know, show love to your page or whatever. But do not feel hurt if I do not reply to you. Just keep texting me, keep responding, and I mean keep keep texting me, keep DM me, and I will eventually respond because I do respond to everybody. But thank you guys for all the love and support. Thank you for adding me on Snapchat and everything. If you don't know, my social media is down here. But with that being said, let's get right into the video, man. No more announcements. Alright y'all, so this is going to be my jean collection. I did get inspired by my boy Trio. Me and him going to have some crazy stuff coming in the future. So y'all go, y'all boys go run up on his page. Go subscribe to him. It'll be the second link right below the giveaway. It'll be the second link down in the description. So go subscribe to him. Go like his videos. Go comment on his videos or whatever. That man's real dope. So shout out to him, man. We got a lot of dope stuff coming in the future. So you might want to go subscribe to him. We got a lot. I'm trying to tell you, February is about to be a crazy month for me and him. So again, 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 go run it up on his page. Go subscribe to him or whatever. Say Cash K brought you or whatever. Do whatever you want, bro. But just go show love to that man because he's like, he's he's a homie for real, for real. All right, y'all. So with the jean collection, the shoes I'm going to be wearing with these jeans when they're on body is the checker vans right here. As you guys see, that that focus, I'm going to be wearing these checker vans. So that will be the shoe. I'm not going to wear no Jordans or anything because I don't feel like taking those off and putting them back on. The vans are probably the easiest thing to take off and put them back on. So with that being said, man, we finally go get into the collection. All right, y'all. So with the first jean, this is actually my favorite jean in my collection, my whole collection of jeans. This is my favorite jean. This is the uh, PacSun Splatter Biker Denim or whatever. Uh, I really, really like these. It's a skinny stack jean. If you do decide to get these jeans, make sure you go up a full size or maybe half a size. Like, go up maybe, like, if you wear a 30, 30, 32, maybe wear, like, a 32, 32 or something. Like, just, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, don't go to the size because they do fit really, really skinny. But if you do like that really, 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 really skinny fit, then go to the size. But, yeah, man, I want to I want up a size on these, as you guys see in the body pictures. that I mean, in the body video that they do fit really, really good. And they look good with the checker bands. So yeah, man, that's the first jean, the Paxson Biker jean, and on to the next jean. So I'm going to try to get by this video pretty fast, but the next jean, we got these from Rue 21, Stonewash Biker jeans, regular Biker print with the distressing on it. You guys see that right there. Nothing crazy. They do fit really, really good. I got it for Rue 21, so you can go run it up at Rue 21 at your local mall or something. Look up Rue 21, go to your local mall if they have it. They have these jeans probably for about $20, $25, so it's a really, really good price, but also you do get what you pay for, so do not be butthurt if you feel like the quality is not the best on these but yeah man i like these especially for the price it's a really really good bang for your buck jeans so yeah man 
Route 21, Stonewash Breaker jeans, go running up at Route 21, man. Next up, we got these embell like these embellished type jeans. Now, these are definitely aren't embellished or ball main. I don't know what these are. A company named Zayful sent these to me for free. They sent me a whole bunch of jeans. Shout out to them. But yeah, man, Zayful sent these to me. And this is basically like Bipod Paris, as you guys see right there. If that will focus, it says Bipod Paris. It's pretty much like uh knockoff ball mains or embellished jeans it has that same type of print but these are really really nice y'all even though they're not like the real like ball main or whatever like it's not really like necessarily fake ball mains because i didn't get like replica ball mains or anything it's just like the own brand like zayful just sent these to me for free so why not take it y'all these really really dope i haven't worn them yet but i am looking forward to wearing them i really really like these so yeah man go run up at zayful they got some good products over there and the quality is actually pretty good on these so this is definitely one of my favorite pairs even though i haven't worn them i really really do like these so yeah man we got these right here and yeah on to the next g so next up we got these pack suns i don't know what these are called but it's like biker print right here you got biker print right here you got distressing right here and i'm gonna show this a long way as you guys see we got biker print right there distressing right there and then on the other leg when you flip it around you got just regular distressing right there right there and these fit really really good uh i actually should i should have got a bigger size though because like uh my legs are growing my legs are actually kind of long so uh i can't fit the uh, i should have got a 32 instead of a 30 but yeah man they got the like the bottoms are distressed too so this is what makes these pants unique as you guys see like the bottoms right here are distressed and like my camera i love this new camera i just have to say that man i love my new camera right now uh it's better than okay i'm not even gonna i'm gonna reach over here so if you guys didn't know, this is off topic, but this was my old camera, this Nikon DS DSLR. It was a Nikon D3200. This camera is good. It's interchangeable lens and everything. It's a DSLR. It's a really, really good camera, but it's like really, really bulky. And like, I get sick and tired of using this big camera. So it's always nice to have a small camera like this that's equally as good. Just look how it focuses, y'all. Look how it focuses. It's equally as good, man. You know, I just love this camera, y'all. So I know that's off topic, but yeah, man. We got the PacSun jeans. These, these are pretty dope. I wish I would've got a better, bigger size, but I mean, it's whatever. So yeah, man, on to the next. So these jeans, I got these from American Eagle. It's regular blue jeans, but I actually did put the distressing in there. As you guys see, I really, really do mess with these. It's probably one of my favorite jeans in my collection also. Also, I have a picture on Instagram wearing these, so go follow me on Instagram. It'll be like right here, the life of Cash K, and go at me on Snapchat, KalebJ8277. But go run it up on my Instagram or whatever. Go like my pictures or whatever. But yeah, man, I put the distressing marks in these because these are just regular plain blue jeans but i decided to put the distress in them as you guys see i really really mess with i mess with these heavy yo i really really do mess with these look at that distressing right there i mess with these heavy yo and it's it's really good distressing i mess with these really really heavy and i put little like details in it right here like the little distressing right there so these are really really good jeans man i really really do mess with these and they look good on body so yeah man on to the next jean all right y'all so i'm not gonna show this jean too much this is a regular rue 21 jean that i got obviously from rue 21 for the same price as the other ones i got this jean it's like a brand black or something i put the distress marks in them now the distress marks are kind of ugly on this pair because this is the first time i had did it and i did mess up so uh, yeah man it's kind of like a work in progress if you guys want the distressing tutorial i will do that definitely do that for you i was gonna do that when i first started doing youtube again but my views weren't popping like that and uh yeah man i just wanted to get a little bit bigger before i did it but now i feel like i'm comfortable enough to do it so it leave down below if you guys want me to do it but yeah man i messed up on this pair but i still wear these occasionally i mean it don't really matter you can't really tell well i mean you could tell that like somebody really messed up this pair of pants but like i really don't care man they still look good on um, i mean on body so yeah that's those and on to the last three pairs of jeans so next up i got these chino biker jeans i don't know how i got these i really forgot but yeah we got these chino biker jeans right here as you guys see it has the regular biker print like every other biker jean the regular biker print that you always get on your jeans as you guys see and if you go up it has the distress marks right there so nothing too crazy just regular you don't really see chino biker jeans that often so I, that's why i don't wear these that much because they don't look that good they look good they're all right but you don't really see these that often so they are a little bit unique but yeah man we got chino biker jeans i usually wear these if i'm like just trying to throw on something go outside real quick you know like go to walmart or something i just throw these on like on my bear and 11s or something I just throw these on, nothing, nothing crazy, man. We got these chinos. They don't look, they felt like, they're skinny jeans, but they fit like slim fits. So that's why I really don't wear them that much because I'm not really that big of a fan of slim fit jeans. I like a tighter fit on my jeans. But yeah, man, those are the chino biker jeans and the last two jeans, man. Let's go. 
So the last two jeans, I'm going to show these together. So we both got these, this pair of H&M black uh, distressed biker jeans. Now these jeans are kind of faded because they are, they are kind of old. I need to give me a new pair. But uh, yeah, man. We got these H&M, they are kind of faded as you guys see. We got these H&M and they have like a little stain right there. I just, I don't know where that came from. These are these are old pants y'all, but we got these H&M distressed black biker jeans. And then right here, I haven't worn these yet, but we got more distressed black biker jeans. I, I mean, yeah, biker jeans because they have the biker print underneath. I haven't worn these yet either, man. These are really, really dope. I mess with these heavy too, but I haven't worn them yet. I haven't found a good time to wear them. So hopefully I'll wear them soon. But that's that. I'm not really going to show them on body. I'm not sure. I probably did. All right, y'all. So that's all the jeans. I do have more jeans than this, but I decided that there's not, they're not really worth showing. Those I just picked out some of my favorite jeans, the jeans that wear I most, the jeans I wear the most. Well, I don't know what I just said. But yeah, man, that's the video. Again, 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 shout out to my boy Trio for the inspiration for the video. Go spam up his channel with the likes and subscribes and go watch go watch his jean collection and everything. Uh, Yeah, man, we just run it up, man. We putting out bangers 2018, man. We trying to hit. I'm trying to hit 50k by the beginning of summer or the end of summer. I'm not sure. Uh, I that's pretty much my goal is just to hit 50k. So again, again, again. If you are new, make sure you spam that to subscribe button. Tell everybody about the channel, man. And we going to the top, bro, for real, for real. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see y'all in the next one, man. Let's get it. Peace.